up on the beautiful river today and we got Mr. Todd Top Cat with us and uh, Bedrock Bennett and Todd is right down there digging a hole and Mr. Bennett headed on downstream a little bit. Now so far all I've been finding was lead. Well, I just found my first piece of gold, so I figured time to turn the camera on and start filming. Uh, let me show you where I dug that out of, and then I'll show you the piece of gold. Now the reason I decided to dig here is you can see we have boulders piling up right there in the river, and then we got them piling up up here on the bank. Then right here with the, where the detector is, we got us a crevice here. Now right here is where I got that piece from. I still have a real loud, loud target down in here, but it's not gold, it's iron. But I'm gonna clean this whole crevice out right here and uh, see what we can find. Now here's that uh, first piece of gold I found. It's a beautiful little piece. I'm guessing, uh, I don't think it's going to make a gram, but it's going to be close. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to digging. Now, this gravel is really packed in here tight. Now, we've got a loud metal, metal target, iron target, down in here somewhere. We need to get that out of here. See if we can uh, hear any other smaller targets. Okay, well, I got a uh, pan full of gravel here. Uh, I'm just gonna take it down, pan it out, get an idea of how much gold's in the gravel uh, before I start hucking the gravel. And I did find one of the targets. It was a uh, really rusty nail. And I have a target in the pan, so I'll be right back. Well, the target in that pan turned out to be a big hunk of lead. We do have a couple little pieces of gold there. Okay, well, gonna keep digging on. As long as I'm finding a little bit of gold, I'll keep going. Okay, you can see we're getting this dug down quite a ways. Another pan of gravel. Now I still got a loud target down there and I got a light target in the pan. Um, it sounds like iron. But as long as I'm getting targets and finding a little bit of fine gold, we'll, we'll keep digging. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take this down, pan it. Well, we got more fine gold, pretty, pretty small stuff. Let me show you. Right up in there, you can see we got some real fine stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep digging until I get that target out of there. Well, we finally got our large iron target out, and I'm not sure what it is. Looks like it might have been a candle holder. But I got uh, another pan full of gravel and I got a target in the pan that sounds good, but it could be a small piece of iron off of that. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pan her out. Same as all the other pans, a little bit of gold, but we got some lead in there and I think it's a part of a plate of an old uh, car battery. Let me show you. You can see here, there's a couple more pieces up there, and then you can see we got a couple pieces of gold in there. Okay, well, I'm gonna take the detector, check the hole, see if we still got a target. And uh, if we do, we'll keep digging. Well, it sounds like we got one large iron object on one end of the hole and a light target. It sounds pretty good on the other end. Try to get them both and uh, uh, get them both in the pan and then we'll pan it out. Come down here and check out the master at work with the 6,000.
Target? Are you going to dig up a piece of gold right in front of us? No gold. I guess I gotta go back to my hole. I think we might have finally got to the bottom of the hole. I got the brush out so we can clean it off and uh, see if it's just a smooth rock or if we finally made it to the bottom. Looks like we have finally got to the bottom. Okay, well I'm gonna clean this off the best I can, throw it in the pan and uh, hopefully we can find something. We got us another piece of gold and all kinds of stuff in that pan. Let me show you. That's more lead out of a battery, I think. There's a, like an old button over here. But here's our piece of gold, little round piece, kind of a pretty piece. And then we got some fine gold in there. But there's all kinds of junk in the pan. Okay, well, I'm gonna, uh, Clean the very bottom of this thing since we're, we're still finding gold. Looks like we got our last pan out of there. Targets in the pan. Got no more targets in the hole. Okay, I'll be right back. Never did see the target, so I'm thinking it was a piece of flat iron. But we got a whole bunch of really, really, I'm talking fly specks. And more of that uh, um, lead. I'm pretty sure it's out of an old car battery. Let me show you. And I don't know how well the GoPro shows these. Really, I mean, they're just all kinds of super fine pieces. And then we got the, the lead all over the place here. Okay, well, I'm gonna clean this up with the snuffer and then uh, put everything uh, back in the pack and start detecting. We're gonna abandon this crevice and see if we can find us a new one. Got no more targets, and then I just took a trip upstream a little bit, and downstream, and I kinda like upstream, so I think we're gonna head upstream, and right out there in the river, there's a little otter playing around out there. I think he's trying to, trying to catch a fish. And uh, if he comes out of the water, I'll see if I can get a shot. All right, well, I'm gonna grab everything up, put it in the pack, and we're gonna start detecting upstream. Well, I uh, moved on upstream and jumped in front of Mr. Bennett, who's right there, and found a piece of gold. He's been finding nothing but coins. Let me uh, show you this piece of gold I found. Now, this piece isn't real big, but it, it's chunky. So I hope it'll have some weight. Right there where my detector is, it's laying on top of a crevice. I've got a target in there. Then right down in here, and if you look at this, see if I can get it so you can see, this is a low spot in the bedrock where during a flood, the water's going through here. And then right here, I got a signal. Up there, I got a signal. And then down over in here, I have a signal. All right, well, I'm gonna grab the digging tools, start digging, and see if we can pick up another piece of gold. Now this one here that was under the detector, it looks like a nice crevice. So I'm just gonna dig everything out of here and pan it. I'm not gonna waste the time to try to find a target because uh, there could be gold. There, I'm pretty sure there's fine gold in here, so we'll just dig it all out and pan it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. This stuff is really packed in here. And then uh, Mr. Bennett's over here. He's chasing the target. Okay, get you caught up. We ate lunch. We got hailed on. Uh, I just uh, got a really nice target. Turned, about, turned out to be a fishing weight. But I ended up with uh, a bunch of fine gold, so it wasn't a total loss. Here's that last pan. We got all kinds of 
find stuff in there, but no nuggets. Well, Mr. Bennett just showed me the coins because I was all happy because I found a dime. Look at this. He's got a pocket full of money. I think he's going to buy his gold. What I'm going to do now, I've got this area, I've got all my targets dug. Haven't been finding any gold, so I think I'm going to put everything in the backpack. I'm going to hike up that hillside a little bit. Because there's some workings up there. And if I don't find anything, then I'm going to come down and jump in front of Mr. Bennett so I can find another nugget. Well, it's time to get you caught up. We've hiked quite a ways back upstream. Uh, we've been metal detecting as we go. We got hailed on. Uh, I stopped a little bit downstream. I had a, had a really good sound in reading, so I dug it out. And as I was prying the rocks out of the, the crevice, it bound up. And when it popped loose, it just shot out. And it hit a big rock that was like right next to it. And I looked down and there was a piece of gold. If it wasn't for that rock, that thing would have shot five feet downstream and I would have never known it was there. Let me show you that piece of gold. Okay, there's that piece. Nothing to write home about, little round piece. I'm packing everything up, it's getting late, and they're quite a ways ahead of me. So if I find any more gold, I'll turn the camera on. If not, I'll see you back at the house. Back at the house, and we'll just say it the next day. Okay, well, I got that gold all cleaned up, and that was a job. I mean, uh, there, there was a lot of gold that went through the 50 mesh. I mean, those little tiny flashbacks. But we got a pretty good amount of gold away, so what do you say we uh, jump over the scale and uh, see how we did? Okay, let's check our nugget. I'm thinking it was going to be like a 0 0.8. 0 0.71. Well, better than nothing. Okay, we had 1.92 in the pieces we found with the detector, and then our fine gold, we ended up with 2.86 grams. Now let's see how we did in lead. We got quite a bit of lead. 20 grams of lead, all right. Well, over two and a half grams. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I've been trying hard to get back into a two, two gram rut. I tell you, it's been tough. Well, that was a, a fun trip up on the river. Water was a little high, kept us out of the best spots, but uh, Bennett finally did find some gold, and uh, Todd found one more piece uh, on the way out. I had everything put away so I couldn't film it. But all in all, we had a pretty good trip. Now, been raining pretty hard, so I know the rivers are up. So I got a couple of gullies that are normally dry that probably got run water running down them now. So I'm thinking we need to go, go take a look at those. So hopefully that's the plan as long as the snow doesn't get us. Okay, well that's pretty much all I got on this one. So I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.